Free the land. Revolutionary greetings. This is Hawkins Shakur of the August 3rd Collective, national spokesman of the New African Independence Movement. I've been doing a lot of work as a New African historian. I'm also an advocate for the freedom and the liberation of political prisoners and prisoners of war. Also, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Provisional Government of the Republic of New Africa for three years. And also, I do a lot of work um, with different organizations and formations and movements inside the New African Independence Movement. I got involved within the New African Independence Movement and became a citizen of the Provisional Government of the Republic of New Africa around the early 2000s. All this revolved around the work of political prisoners and prisoners of war and the historic 1998 Jericho Movement March on Washington, D.C. It was the first big march of its kind ever to advocate for the freedom of new African political prisoners and prisoners of war. And a lot of that time after that is when I started to get involved within the new African independence movement and becoming a part as a citizen of the Republic of New Africa. After years of being in the new African independence movement and developed myself within the new African independence movement, I came to know of Shaka through one of our comrades, now an ancestor and a mentor of mine by the name of Sanyika Shakur. Many people know him as Monster Cody. And I came across a lot of Shaka's work and, you know, within their time during the uh, Spear and Shield era, you know, and, and the work that they did with the Spear and Shield Collective um, within the New African Independence Movement, as well as work that they have been collaborating on years behind the prison walls uh, through individuals like Atiba Shani. Um, yeah, and I, I got to meet Shaka a little bit years later, probably around 2016, 2017, um, when the uh, New African Liberation Collective was being formed and things of that nature. And we formed a relationship through the New African Liberation Collective um, work. Um, Shaka's new book is very important and um, its relevance is very important today uh, because we're trying to uh, get more people to understand the new African independence movement and the provisional government of the Republic of New Africa and its relation to the world community. Uh, this book is, is concrete with the historical material analysis and understanding of the uh, Republic of New Africa and New African independence movement and where we are today, uh, where it coincides with the struggle with the Palestinian people and all oppressed people across the world. Uh, we want the world to understand that there's a, a, a nation of peoples within the empire of the United States of America who's, who's struggling to destroy uh, uh, the heart of the beast uh, when it comes to our oppression, uh, our, our status in the world, and also trying to uh, free the land and, and get to our ultimate goal as well is where the Palestinians is trying to get to today, which is nationhood, statehood, um, and the freedom of our people and the freedom of all oppressed nations of peoples and ethnic groups across the world. So this book is very important. It will definitely, you know, help you understand that and where the new African independence movement is today with our theory and our organizing, our struggling for land, independence and sovereignty. So go out, grab the book, uh, order the book today on Juneteenth, 2024. Free the land by any means necessary.